So we got uh, Tusculum head coach Jerry Odom here talking about the 2023 season. And coach, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. Um, obviously, you guys had a, had a great uh, 2022, yeah. a pretty good year. Yeah. Um, so uh, as, as you start looking ahead, you know, what's 2023 looking like? Um, you know, what, what's the first thing you think your team's going to need this season to succeed? Uh, you know, who needs to step up that kind of thing? Well, I th I, you know, we've got a lot back. I mean, I think we have, you know, we have 18 starters back and uh, all 11 on defense and seven on offense. So we've got a good nucleus of guys back. I think biggest thing is just how, how do we handle success, right? How we'd make that jump, and we got a really tough early game. Obviously, Kennesaw State, uh, you know, needed new unis. So that's part of the uh, that's part of the deal when so you have to play happens. a money game. It happens, right? Um, but I, you know, I like this team a lot. I think our offensive line last year, people have no idea. Like we went through. I think we had seven injuries and we were just beat all to heck. You know, I've, like we, to a point where in the last four games, we took a D lineman who hadn't played offensive line since his junior year in high school. And we took him on a Tuesday and he started on Saturday. That's how bad it was. So I think the offensive line for us, we have a lot back. We lost a really good center uh, who was Tommy Mahoney, who was a good player. But we feel like that We've got four guys, we've got probably seven that played at least five games back, right? So that's a big nucleus there. So as long as we play well there, and we lost our quarterback, we had a quarterback going to the transfer portal, he, he traded a nice job for us last year, but we feel like we have three really good quarterbacks. We got a, a Peter Zamora, a transfer from Marshall that came in the spring, looked really, really good. Braden Phillips, our backup from last year, is competing with him. And, and then we, you know, we've got a young redshirt freshman guy, uh, you, you know, Preston Roberts, that's going to be a good player too. So we really feel good about those guys. Um, running back, we'll have to replace two good running backs. Yeah. Um, I've got a transfer coming in that I, I really like. Uh, that was at Edinburgh uh, okay. the last couple years. Um, Anthony Williams, he's going to be a really, really good player for us. I feel like he's an older guy. He's a you know a senior. He's you know he's he's been there, done that. Now we've got Kareem Carswell, who's a really dynamic redshirt freshman that we didn't have to play last year. That we think has really grown up a lot. Uh, it's going to be really really good. Um, and then you know we've got some other guys like we signed two that are good. We've got a couple guys that are there that we think can play. So feel good about that area. A receiver, we're really good. Um, Lost one guy, so we really have probably five out of our top six back. Wow. Um, you know, Tyler Burke last year was an all-conference guy. Have him back. Uh, Kamani Brown was our second leading receiver. He got him back. Uh, and then there's a lot of guys, you know, coming back with them. Got all our tight ends back. Uh, Bryce is back. <coughs> uh, Will Schellen back's back. Uh, you know, we, we you know we've got three really good tight ends. So, like I said, I mean, you know, you start thinking about offense. If the quarterback position plays out like I think it will, um, we won't be quite as athletic as Trey is very athletic. But I think those guys get the ball out of their hands a little bit quicker. They're probably a little bit better, you know, in the in, in the three step game, reading coverages, RPOs. Trey struggled with some of that kind of stuff. Um, so we might be a little bit different in that aspect, but I think all of those guys are good players. Defensively, I mean, we have 20. Ask, how's the defense look? Well, you know, we have 20 out of 22 in the two deep yeah. back. So we were pretty good last year. Yeah, you guys were. Um, I feel like it's a real veteran group. Uh, I think we led the country in interceptions. Uh, we turned people over a lot. We got to do that again this year. Yep. Um, but, you know, our two line, starting linebackers are back. Our whole, I mean, when you have all 11 back and then, yeah. you know, most of your backups, I mean, the guy, Ryan Dolce is a heck of a player at nickel for us. Uh, our corners, uh, you know, Jordan Jordan Taylor, I think, ran 10 to 9 this year in 100, uh, you know, in the track season. Yeah, okay. um, so, you know, we, Ty, Tycorian Brown's a guy that's played a, a bunch for us. Uh, the, the Robertson's twins, we had one at safety, one at corner. Both those guys had three and four picks for us. John Smith's back. Uh, Witherspoon, you know, Witherspoon's back at Rover for his third year starting. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, there's a lot of guys. Yeah, there's a lot of guys, yeah, that, 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 that have played a lot of football for us. So I'm excited about that group. They're great. Listen, the, the, the fun thing for me is after we won the championship in the spring COVID year, you know, I it was a kind of a crazy deal. We lost a lot of people yeah. uh, to a couple teams, you know, that, uh, you know, and a lot of, a lot of coaches. Yeah. yeah and, uh, 
So I, I, you know, I, I kind of panicked. I felt like I went way too heavy in the transfer portal and we just didn't have the kind of people that I wanted. And so we kind of made the, the gesture of, hey, this is important. Uh, culture is important. And I think last year we went young and we went with guys that we think love the game, culture guys, guys that want to be great. And I think uh, we got, we were better because of it. And I yeah. think that's really, you know, the growth of that culture where young guys getting helped by the older guys, seniors leading. Because, you know, I, I always believe that I've been a part of a lot of championships in my career. And I really believe that teams that are led by their players are always going to go farther than the teams that are led by a coach. Absolutely. Um, as it, you know, talking about last season and one mm -hmm. of the big changes we had as a league was playing in division yeah. and then having the, the opportunity for that championship right. game in the, in the last week of the regular season. How did that affect the, the year for you <sighs> and, and your team? You I, th I loved it. You know, I, our kids loved it. It was, you know, because you're always like, you, it, you, like it's almost like you're playing multiple seasons like you got your preseason where you're on non-conference games even though you got to win those to still make the playoffs and stuff and then you got your not you got the teams from the other side but again they count but it's but then you play those last five and that's again you know that's the play for the championship or have a champion and our, our kids really loved it i think you get Anytime you have multiple things to play for, I think that, that that's a good thing. And uh, we came up six points short against a good Mars Hill team, and they, you know, and then they people were like, "Oh, the Mountain Division's not as good." And then they go and have a Donnie Brook with with Newberry. Newberry ends up winning, but it's a heck of a game. So, you know, I think I think it was really good for this league. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I said, I think for the kids, it keeps them involved. It keeps you, you know, you kind of. Sometimes when you, let's say you start off slow, yeah. then you're just kind of done. Yeah. You know, like, what are you playing for? Now, you still have those last five games that if you run the table, you're still playing for a championship. Yep. And and I think that's what you sell your kids on. Speaking of that, uh, I know you guys are kind of natural rivals with Mars Hill, but yep. you've also got Carson yeah. right there, and then you got UVA Wise, yeah. and now Emory and Henry. Right, too. yeah. What, uh, as you go into the season, what's that one game that you feel like the team comes in and they're like, hey, coach, that's the game we really want to win? You know, oh, that's a great question because we are so close. Like we barely beat Wise last year, didn't play well against them. I think the guys were disappointed in the way we played against them. Obviously, Mars Hill is a big one for us because they haven't played at our place in three years. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, you know, we're, I don't know how that works I, 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 yeah, I, me either. <laughs> uh, but uh, Talk but to I, Coach Clifton about yeah, that we need that. to work uh, work on that with Co <laughs> Coach Clifton. God, God. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, we, we know don't, that yeah, we don't want to go over the mountain, but yeah. uh, you know, I think that's a big game too. But but obviously, Carson Newman's our rival, and yeah. and that's you know always big. We haven't we have to play over there this year, and I don't think the Tuscans won over there since 1938. So obviously, that's a huge game. Um, what week is that? Ah, uh, I don't that's, know. That's middle middle, middle of the season year, yeah. somewhere. We're, we're gonna have to keep our eyes on that. Yeah, one. that you know that'll be a big one. So you know, I I think those two for us probably Mars Hill and 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 Carson Newman are huge games for us. Coach, I'll leave you this last thing, and I, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but. What do you think your biggest challenge is going into this year for your team? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I think I did touch it. Just understanding like, okay, we had a better season last year, um, but you know, our goal was, we didn't meet our goals. Like, you know, eight and three was not where we wanted to be. We wanted to play in that championship game and have a chance to go to the playoffs. And I think our guys, that last game against the LR, we didn't play very well. That was probably the worst game we played all year. Now it was a good, good football team, but I think they had already kind of figured out we, it was a weird year. Like, yeah. you know, we had a bunch of teams that didn't get to go to the playoffs that probably were worthy, you know, especially when you start looking at scores on uh, some of the people that went, obviously. But um, I think we've got we've to make sure that we understand that success is only bred by hard work and effort and want to. And, you know, we have a saying, it's one, one, and one. Worry about one game at a time, one week at a time, and win by one or 100. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. One, one, and one, you know. So we got to kind of keep that thought process. Hey, we want to be one, one, and one every week. And that's the things we're going to work, you know, work on. And just try to love each other, care about Because I think the thing I've done a better job of, probably even as a head coach as I've grown through this thing, is enjoying the ride. You know, like I'm a very intense guy. That's just who I am. 
but you know, enjoying the ride with the kids. Uh, you know, I'm I'm the guy that when we win the game, I'm already thinking about the next thing. You know, <laughs> yeah, so I yeah. my wife tells me I struggle with that all the time. She, you learn to enjoy the wins, you know, and not beat yourself That's up on the Sunday losses. Sport. Yeah, right, exactly. But uh, anyway, but I think those things, you know, like understanding the journey caring about one another more than we care about ourselves. I think that's where we were good last year. Yep. That, that team was very unselfish and I enjoyed that about them. Yep. So, it, you know, it's been it, it, it's been a fun group to coach and I hope it, it is again this year. Coach, I appreciate you taking the time with us. Good Thank luck you. in the 2023 season. Appreciate that.